Texas is one of the best places in the country for boating and fishing. However, that may not always be true. Right now, our lakes and rivers are under attack by zebra mussels. And if we don't do the right thing, Texas could be changed forever and not in a good way. Zebra mussels are an invasive species which first appeared in Texas in 2009. They have been found in north and central Texas water bodies and threaten to spread throughout the state. They attach to any hard surface in the water, such as boats, pipes, and docks, causing damage and resulting in increased operational and maintenance costs. Zebra mussels can negatively impact aquatic life and hinder recreational opportunities. They can foul shorelines and can even affect the city's water supply, costing millions of taxpayer dollars to maintain and repair those systems. These highly destructive zebra mussels can be spread across the state on boats like yours. One adult female zebra mussel can produce up to one million microscopic larvae each year, and they're invisible to the naked eye. And if only a few tiny adult zebra mussels are transported to another lake, they can reproduce rapidly. So even those boaters with good intentions can be carrying zebra mussels aboard and not even know it. Unfortunately, once zebra mussels become established in a water body, it is too late. There is no known way to get rid of them. It's important that boaters know these Texas laws. Boaters need to drain all water from their boat, including any water in live wells and bilges. Also, it is illegal to possess or transport zebra mussels or any other aquatic invasive species on a boat knowingly or unknowingly. Lawbreakers will face fines of up to $500 for the first incident and steeper fines with possible jail time for subsequent offenses. The good news is that boaters can take a few simple precautions to help ensure they are in compliance with the law. First, inspect the boat, trailer, and gear. Clean off any vegetation, mud, or foreign objects that you find. Second, pull the plug and drain all the water from the boat, including the motor, the bilge, live wells, and bait buckets, before leaving the lake. Third, open all compartments and live wells and allow your boat trailer and gear to completely dry for a week or more before entering another water body. If you can't leave your boat and trailer out of the water for a week, you'll need to wash your boat, trailer, and gear. Be sure to use high pressure, hot soapy water, at least 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have kept your boat on an infested lake for an extended period of time, it may be heavily infested and you will need to have it fully cleaned and decontaminated at a marina especially if you plan to transport the boat to another lake. If you love Texas lakes, help save them from the spread of zebra mussels. Clean, drain, and dry your boat every time you leave one of our state's great lakes. To learn more, including which lakes are infested with zebra mussels, visit texasinvasive.org slash zebra mussels. Because it's hello zebra mussels, goodbye Texas lakes.